These animals are able to swim across rivers. They don't give up, not under any conditions. They rush forward without hesitation, without a doubt. Hello everyone, today we have a wild boar on review. Even poison doesn't take them. Wolves can't handle a boar alone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the new video. Let's go! Wild boar is an omnivorous artiodactyl non-ruminant mammal from the genus of wild boars. It differs from the domestic pig, which undoubtedly originated from the wild boar and other similar species, has a shorter and denser body, thicker and taller legs. In addition, the boar's head is longer and thinner, the ears are longer, sharper and, moreover, erect. The constantly growing upper and lower canines sticking out of the mouth upwards are much more developed in the male than in the female. Elastic bristles, except for the lower part of the neck and the back of the abdomen, form something like a mane on the back with a comb that bristles when the animal is excited. In winter, a thick and soft undergrowth grows under the bristles. The bristles are black-brown with an admixture of yellowish, the undercoat is brownish-gray. Due to this the overall color is gray-black-brown, the muzzle, tail, lower part of the legs and hooves are black. Mottled and piebald specimens are rare and they are considered descendants of feral domestic pigs. The color of the bristles may vary depending on the age and habitat if pure black boars are found in Belarus, then in the area of Lake Balkash they are very light, almost whitish. On a massive, thick and short neck there is a large wedge-shaped head with long wide ears, small eyes and a powerful protruding snout with a piglet well adapted for digging. An adult boar can dig its snout through frozen ground to a depth of 15 to 17 centimeters. The vision of wild boars is not their strong point. By human standards, wild boars suffer from myopia. However, poor eyesight is more than compensated by excellent hearing and nose. The tail is straight, 20 to 25 centimeters long, with a brush of hair at the end. The digestive system is relatively simple compared to other artiodactyls. It emits the same sounds as a domestic pig, grunting and squealing. They can be divided into contact, alarm, and combat. The body length is up to 175 centimeters. The height at the withers is up to 1 m. The weight of an adult boar usually does not exceed 100 kilograms, although it can reach 150 to 200 kilograms. Occasionally in Eastern Europe there are individuals weighing up to 275 kilograms, and in Primorai and Manchuria, up to half a ton. Sexual dimorphism is clearly manifested, females are smaller, height at the withers up to 90 centimeters, weight within 60 to 180 kilograms. The lifespan of an animal can reach 14 years in nature and 20 years in captivity and protected areas. The boar is capable of speeds up to 40 kilometers per River Brush Eared Pig A brush eared pig living in Central Africa flaunts its bright outfit. Her coat is bright red and there is a white stripe on her back. The Bearded Pig A very interesting subspecies of wild boar or wild pig is a bearded pig living in the mangrove forests of Indonesia. It differs from its relatives in a more athletic physique and relatively small size, so the weight of a bearded pig does not exceed 50 kilograms. <coughs> P 
place of residence. Among mammals leading a terrestrial lifestyle, wild boars are the most widespread. This animal can perfectly settle in hot countries with a tropical climate, as well as in countries with harsh, cold climatic conditions. It inhabits both broad-leaved, mixed forests and coniferous forests. In our country, the wild boar loves, first of all, oak massifs. The boar lives well at various altitude levels in the mountains and does not disdain alpine meadows. Wild boar loves not only oak forests, but also beech forests, as well as swampy terrain. They are distributed almost all over the globe, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Ural Mountains, in the Mediterranean, including in North Africa, in the steppes of Central Asia and Eurasia. As for the northern regions, the wild boar's habitat there reaches 50 degrees north latitude, in the east, up to the Amur and Himalayas. A family of wild boars lives in China, Korea, Japan, and Southeast Asian countries. In addition to the mainland, the wild boar lives on many islands. In the modern world, wild boars inhabit a much smaller territory than it was in ancient times. In many countries, England, it was completely exterminated. In our country, the wild boar population is not threatened by anything, its range is quite large. The European part of the country, the mountains, the south of Siberia, the Caucasus. An interesting fact is that wild boars in North America did not exist at all until a person brought them there for the purpose of hunting. Then they settled down wonderfully and settled all over the mainland. Scientists believe that the real ancestors of the common domestic pig are wild boars, which were common in Mesopotamia and Europe. For wild boars, the environment of swamps and water-rich territories with reed and shrub thickets is most favorable. The boar's vision often fails, which cannot be said about the sense of smell, which is simply excellent. The boar's nose is able to smell a person within a radius of 400 meters. Odors that are too sharp and unusual for the animal's habitat can scare the beast away. Wild boars live in whole herds. As a rule, there are several females with cubs in them, very young males. Mature boars keep to the side, and solitary. They come to the herds only during the mating season. The wild boar is most mobile and active at night. In the dark, he likes to eat and swim, even in the mud. During the day, boars cool off in a reed thicket or in a swamp, hiding in a shrubby thicket. Interestingly, the skin of wild boars is very susceptible to sunlight, so they cover it with a layer of dirt so as not to burn. They use dirt not only as a sunscreen, but also as a reliable protection against annoying insect bites. There should always be a body of water near the boar's rookery. The boar tries to stay as far away from human settlements as possible, but he visits oak, wheat, and corn crops regularly and with great pleasure. Both in summer and in winter, the cleaver prefers to lead a measured sedentary lifestyle, leaving his hiding places only to eat. But in various situations, the boar can develop its speed up to 45 kilometers per hour. In addition, he swims great, overcoming huge distances. To the excellent sense of smell, you can add the sensitive hearing of an animal, which is also at a height. The caution of the boar can be mistaken for his cowardice, but this is not so at all. A wild boar is easy to anger, and an enraged boar is very formidable, scary, and deadly. Even wounded, he will fight to the end to save his cubs. If there is no danger in the vicinity, the boar likes to dig a hole and doze, lying in it. <coughs> Reproduction and offspring. From 6 to 12 piglets are born every time. A distinctive feature of juveniles is their striped coloring, which allows them to successfully disguise themselves in thickets of vegetation. The female mates only once a year, although there are cases when females give birth up to two or even up to three times a year, which depends on the habitat and the availability of food. Up to three months or a little longer, the mother feeds her offspring with milk. Already upon reaching the age of three weeks, the young behave quite actively since they are already firmly on their feet. During this period, the female is especially aggressive towards any uninvited guests since the protection of her offspring is always a priority. A female feeding and walking her cubs is no less dangerous than a male. She will protect her offspring until her last breath and, if necessary, will pursue a potential enemy. 
A female wild boar is a lot of kilograms of muscles, including sharp fangs, although they are not so pronounced. Enemies in nature. The wild boar is distinguished not only by its formidable appearance, but also by the fact that it is really able to stand up for itself. And yet, this formidable massive animal has natural enemies. The main enemy of the boar is the wolf. And although the wolf can significantly lose to the boar in the mass, he does not hunt alone, but several individuals who know their duties, and this is his advantage. Moreover, wolves cause significant damage to the wild boar population by eating young animals that cannot yet stand up for themselves. Naturally, wild boars will not remain in debt, and it is known about many cases when wolves died in fights with wild boars. In countries located closer to the equatorial zone, wild cats, such as tiger, leopard, lynx, etc., hunt young animals. A tiger, in order to get food for himself, and especially when he is hungry, is ready to engage in single combat with an experienced boar. Apart from natural factors that affect the total number of these animals, the main enemy of the wild boar is a person who gets a lot of fun hunting this wild animal. This is a kind of a kind of active recreation of a person. With this, our issue has come to an end. Subscribe to the channel, put likes. We do the best for you. See you in the next video.